Hello everyone, Exidra here bringing you episode 32 of Compact Claustrophobia, a mod pack by Your Amster. So, in the last episode, we found uh, another dungeon and we got the tier 2 rocket schematic and we got back home. But, hmm, we didn't get back home because we changed where the rocket was, we didn't co come back home to the right spot. So I had to go in a past episode and find the coordinates of my oh find the coordinates of my base so that i'd be able to return and i put this aside and got ready for the tier 2 rocket and i discovered something that makes me sad so let's come here and look at tier 2 rocket tier 2 rocket requires these heavy duty plate which are made from heavy duty plate and Compressed meteoric iron and compressed meteoric iron is made from meteoric iron ingot Which is made from smelting these raw meteoric iron. So remember those that we found uh, in so we found some in the um, We found some in the dungeon and we also saw a meteor that we broke down, but we only have six So now if I throw these six in here, that's going to give me six, but Let's look at this so in here, these are only tier one. Tier one don't need anything, so that's okay. We need to make these rocket fin, again, tier one, so nothing special in here. This is a tier one rocket, still nothing special in here. Now we have these tier one booster, which are new. And the tier one booster, they each need four compressed meteoric iron. So that's four and eight. And each of one, those need one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need uh, 18 meteoric iron and we only have six so we're going to have to go back to the moon just because of that meteor so we're going to go to the moon to, back to the moon today which is kind of sad but whatever it needed to be done during that time i've been heavy prepping material so i've been preparing to make a better um a better what's it called a better oh my god Speaking French is hard. Uh, a better reactor. So just give me a second and let's just, I'll do the overlay thing. And let me show you right here. So we're going to make it a nine high. Oh, darn it. I'm really all over the place because I don't want a nine high. I want an 11 high. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven by eleven. Because if I go in here and I have to take the overlay away now, just one second. Okay, so if I go not in here, if I go in here, if you guys remember what I did is I made it eleven wide by nine deep. And I never remember which is the one number I need to change. So just give me a second. Uh, I'm going to quickly start the website and do the LEU 235 and I'm going to change it to be I, I hate that I never remember what's the size I think it's X then Y then Z and let me just check here on my others that I created what I actually need is an 11 by 11 by 9 so it's 11 by 11 by 9 with LEU 235 and uh, default. And what I did is I restricted, I said no uh, glowstone, no diamond, no helium, and I permitted 50 cryothium, no emerald for sure. And then I'm just going to run this. So I already started it so that hopefully I'm gonna get a equivalent result by the time we're ready to do this and I'm really curious like I'm gonna have the wrong material but we're not ready to do that anyway and setting up the reactor is something I would do in a time lapse so looking at the other quest and the other stuff to do we're unfortunately not going to the next planet so the next planet would be Mars and it needs a tier 2 and Mars also has the same kind of dungeon with a different boss where we're gonna have to do the same thing and if I look at the other quest. Okay, so someone left a comment. I'm going to do something with you live. So if I click here on freedom, it says you do not have permission. 
So it didn't activate the freedom command. So what I'm going to do is open to LAN, allow cheat on, start LAN world, so that now I can come here and say, click on this, and finally really unlock the stage freedom. Then, oh, so right now, if I come here and I say Ender Pearl, you finally know what Ender Pearls are, but that only worked for me, like the, the comment that I got on the Discord was that for some people, when it was bugged, this was unfortunately what you needed to do to be able to unlock it. Anyway, okay, so the idea is to make a better reactor so that we can power this and have this always powered. And this way we can start extracting. <laughs> now you're updating. This way we can start updating and getting uh, diamond nuggets instead of diamond and even diamond. Because if I look at diamond, we have 13,679, but we're going to need, uh, I think it was 10,000. Let me go back. So this is. And I hope this is not going to be broken always. Let me just repair the pickaxe because probably it needs a full pickaxe to recognize. I just want to, I'd like to complete the tab if it's possible. Sometime though, I'm telling you guys, these things are bugged and there's nothing you can do. So now that it's full, it's detected and I claimed. Perfect, so this tab is completely done. As you know, this one will never be completed because these never finish. Even if I do this, and claim and if I do this and claim oh okay okay then so yes yes it can be completed though I think that once those reset because if you remember they reset after 2 minute 43 it's going to be come back not checked so the next things are the challenge uh, if I look at the diamond it's 500 so it's it's bad, but not that bad. We still haven't worked on the bedrock and we still not have made a better setup for our poop. That being said, if I go back in here, I just wanna see the status of the poop. So that's seven. Oh, you better stop doing this. It's like the fourth time that it appeared. I just wanna check. So I have 7,900 poop and, oh, that's not what we wanted to check. Back, I wanted to check how much do I need? I need a hundred thousand. So yeah, for that, we're going to need to make a better farm setup. So uh, I created a couple of compact machine. If you look here, we're probably going to set up a large compact machine and we're gonna set up a maximum number of garden cloche in there. And we're just going to go max wheat so that we also get more sugar because I don't know how long the marshmallow game is going to be. So I think I'm not even gonna touch this setup. I'm just going to create a new separate setup and work from there. So that's good, that's good, that's good. That's the other thing. Oh, okay, so I don't wanna make the same mistake. We said here that we needed 18 meteoric iron, but we all know that we're going to go to the tier three, okay? And to go to tier three rocket, we need tier three plates. And we know that the tier three plates near the, need the tier two. So these 10 are also going to need 10 meteoric iron, and we have more tier one booster. So for both rocket, we're going to need 18 and 18, so that's 36. But different nose cone. So 36, 37, 38, 39. Different engine, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And different boosters, 44, 45, 46, 47. And we're going to need to do this three more times. 47 plus four is 51, plus four is 55, plus four is 59. So to not take a chance, I'm at least going to grab a stack of meteoric iron, because if I come back here and I check this, just wanna do a quick look, tier one boosters, air lock controllers, perfect. They're also used in these plate, heavy duty plate two, cryogenic, heavy rocket fin, and compressed dash. Okay, so for the tier three, we're going to need to use compressed dash but for these here, compressed titanium, do I have titanium? I don't even know if we have titanium. Titanium, no. So we're gonna have to find titanium on Mars, I think. So, oh, th these are compressed dash, so that's not the problem. And, oh, these have two recipe with heavy duty plate two. So I don't even need titanium. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about titanium because uh, I don't need any anywhere. All I'm going to need is compressed dash, perfect, which is easy. 
well, easy, which is doable, I should say. Uh, so I'm going to need an extra couple of iron. So we're going to need two, four, six, eight. So 64 would not be enough. So yeah, two stack is probably going to be what's required. What the, what are all of these? Oh, see, now it reset. And because it reset, this quest line is no longer completed. Anyway, so that's good. That's good. If I come here at the challenge. So this one is a slow burner that we're going to be working on. This is going to be all in a time lapse. This, we need to set up another room. And this is going to be the, I don't know how long or complicated this is going to be, but we probably will get started on that after the planets. So, like I said, let's just check our status. Um, we have oxygen. Let's just go out. Let's come back here. Perfect. Let's look at these. These are full. So our oxygen is full. No, I don't want to go in. I want to take you home. Ah, careful. Although I don't think we can launch. How do I grab this again? No, I don't want to go in. Uh, this is annoying. And where is that stupid hunker? I will not live with that hunker hunking at me. See, the problem is I believe there's a cave somewhere underground. Although maybe it's just a cave right here. Nope. Where's the hunker? Okay. I don't see him anywhere. If you guys see him and just see me derping, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's come back here. Uh, can I get the rocket back by doing this? Yes, that works. So put the rocket back here. And the reason I had put this here is that I just wanted to keep like every single rocket we made. I just wanted to have one like displayed everywhere. Oh, this, you are so annoying. Okay, so this is all done. We're going to need to fuel this up. So for fueling up, we now know. Oh, I was going to say, where the hell is my fuel? So we know that one bucket is enough. So let's just put one bucket in here and then we can grab that. Oh, please shut up. Put that back. Oh, no. So now we need to keep this on our person. Put that right here and we're going back to the moon. If the rocket is fueled. Nope, still not finished. Let's just get out for a second. And like I said, I'm sure that there's a cavern under here somewhere. Unless it's in this cavern. Nope. So there's for sure a cavern right under us. That's the annoying bit. And is there a hammer in this hammer? Oh, yes. Hammer. Can I make, uh, what's a good one? Make a iron, iron hammer. Okay, so the reason I did this is that now we can go in here. Remember, that's the uh, the place that we had made for uh, for talking. Oh my God! It's the place that we had made for uh, uh, to go to bedrock. And I'm gonna need some torches, like so. I can make more, please. Ah. Uh, I'm pressing all of the wrong but you know what <laughs> screw you sometimes see r is not working i don't know why i'm just going to write torch because i don't want to have to go and find the material ah there's no more stick maybe that's why so grab a stick and go again and make a shit ton of stick because i'm so fed up with the stick madness And like I said, I'm, I was pretty sure there was a cavern under here. Now I seem to be proven wrong. Nope, I'm hearing it more. 
Aha. I think I found where they are. Yes. So we will now be left alone. It's gonna go deep enough so that I don't get bothered by this anymore. Perfect. So that should leave us alone for the rest of this playthrough. I should no longer have any enemy nearby or in any sounding trumpets or stuff like that. This is now going to be taken care of. Whew. What will someone do to get rid of annoying noise? Perfect. Okay, so let's get rid of these things. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need any of these. This. I don't need any of this and you know what these I'm going to keep in my bag because maybe I don't need them right now but I have the space in my bag so I'm not sure why I would just get rid of it when I don't need to so this should now be fuel don't forget to grab your fueler and let's do our pre our pre-flight checklist so we have a chemist we have get uh, fuel we have the loader we have power we have the cryo stabilized we have the extra we have everything we need, so let's go back to the moon. And we're going to go to the moon to get our etheric iron. And what I'm going to try to do this time, because I want to see if we're coming back to the exact same spot or closer to our spot, is I'm going to um, leave the rocket where it is, and I'm just going to search for metheric iron in uh, like around us. And now we're gone for a while. So, um, hopefully, uh, you're going to have seen the last episode, and you guys can give me a little feedback on what you think about the regrowth mod pack. So it's an, an older version of Minecraft, which might be less interesting for people, but it is a really interesting mod pack because it really like pushes blood magic, and it brings new problem. And I really love the idea. That it's a mod pack where you actually have to rebuild the world. Like I, I like the idea of saying, oh, the world is barren and we have to bring back life to it. So that's a cool idea. Uh, and it's not underground and it's not in a compact machine. So it's an, in an open world. So for once, we're going to be uh, living normally. Uh, I'm just waiting to be able to go and land on the moon. This is, like, honestly, this is just a bit too long. They could have made that animation half the time, and it would have been way better. Same for this. Like, the landing down is also way too long. Like, those are small things, but when you're traveling a lot, it's just annoying. Because, especially when you're recording, those are times that you're just, like, wasting time just waiting for things to finish. So that being said, I don't know how easy or hard Meteoric Iron is going to be to find because I don't know how big the spawn rate is. So like I said the last time, uh, not the last time, like I said this time, I'm not going to move the rocket and, oh, is it really going to go on top of the old one? <laughs> well, that's different. And I'm going to go back in a better mode. Uh, nope. <sighs> These are the kind of things that just scares me for no reason. If you guys didn't see what was going on, I thought that I had lost my rocket because I couldn't access the launch pad. So I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to go F3 and take a picture with six, 761, 252. And now we need to find Meteor. And like I said, don't know how easy or bad they're going to be. Like just to start off, I'm not seeing a lot. So this might be a time lapse kind of thing. And that's the feeling that I'm getting that for these episodes, we're going to have to start time lapsing a lot of stuff. Not a single meteor yet. And I need to find 64. And like I said, I don't know how many we're going to get per meteor. If we get two or three, maybe not so bad. But if we get one, 
this is going to be hell on earth at this point it might even be worth doing dungeons just to get the meteoric iron oh my god um this is not going to be fun guys this is this is going to be a nightmare i still haven't found a single one nor a single cave <laughs> Um, I'm just hoping that I'm going to find one before I go into the time lapse, but for sure this is going to have to go into time lapse. No, I was just testing the wireless transmitter. You, oh. Oh boy, I am such a derpy person. I just thought of something amazing. I could have brought my home with me. I could have brought my whole home on this planet and start residing on this planet. So I'm coming in here because right now I just want to see if they will trade Meteoric Iron. Nope. Okay. So this is not an option. And Meteoric Iron is not found underground. For you. Go away. I just want to get a little bit of this cheese because I'm cheesy. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure iron is not found this way. Is not found this way. But I just thought that the beauty of the compact machine is that I could have brought my whole home with me. The one thing I have to test is can I... Um... So there are two things that I need to test. I don't know, like right now, my compact machine, I don't know if it's uh, making more stuff. By that, I mean, is it in a dimension so far away that right now all the machines are stopped and there's no tick and it's not loaded in? Because if that's the case, is there a loader, chunk loader? Low power line, no. If a robot moves in a forest and no one is around, hmm. So I think if it's not loaded, I might try to update one of my robot to have a chunk loader option on it because that might work. So what I want to do is probably in the next episode, I'm just going to come back to, uh, is there also a teleport? Short-range telepad. Short-range telepads are used to transfer player and other living. Okay, so that's useless. So the reason I was looking into that is I could explore the moon and have my base of operation and just like go into my base of operation and come back. And maybe if it's here, it would be loaded or if at least it's not chunk loaded, that might be a problem because I might be doing this thinking that I'm getting more and more uh oh i think i found finally found one meat here so now we're going to know how long this is going to take fallen meat here so these are really hard to break first of all and then we're going to see is it going to give me only one two well this is amazing okay so by that calculation if I want to stack, I'm going to need to find 64 of those stupid Meteor when they're this rare. <laughs> and I'm going to need, and I don't know why like there's only one. I thought that this worked in Galactic Science. The way this used to work was that they would fall like all over the place. There would be a meteor shower. Then you would find like 10 or 12, like you would find them in chunks or clumps. The other possibility is that I've not been on this world long enough and so nothing really spawned in so this is going to take forever and so i don't really have a choice i'm gonna to have to go in a time lapse and these time lapse are going to be very very long i don't know what i'm going to do with the music what i might end up doing is just have i th i don't know like i've never done this kind of editing this is i'm i've been telling you that one of the reasons that i'm recording is to push myself and to learn new things so maybe one of the things that i might do is just like have a little montage of everyone that i found 
and just have like the rest of the time lapse completely at the end because like I said I always keep like a full proof of the playthrough that I haven't skipped anything that I didn't go uh, and uh, cheat in the uh, number of meteoric iron like I have to do it anyway so might as well record it all and the problem is if if it's only me just traveling the moon like this for no reason I wonder if I couldn't do like a little edit where in the little edit I show you all of the meteoric iron that I catch and just like back to back to back where it would go from one to the other to the other to the other in a little chunk and then you'd see me get the 64 or maybe also put the dungeons that I did in between because I'm definitely if I see dungeons I'm gonna do them for sure and I might need to go back home and stuff like that and if I go back home I'm gonna bring my compact machine with me which means I'm going to have to tear out everything that I've built outside so I can bring it with me but uh, I, I might try that I don't know how many hours of editing we're talking about but at the same time I don't know how many hour of recording we're talking about and what I might end up doing also if I do that it might also put the uh, time lapse in a separate episode just like an episode that probably no one will watch but that it's there for posterity for people that want to see with music how much derping I've been doing and I've been talking straight I think for like 10 minutes and we found one meteor this is going to be hell on earth I cannot believe I cannot believe how hard this is and I'm pretty sure now that it's all based on the fact that we haven't been on this planet long enough for it to have meteor chunks. So if I go get my base and I pop out once in a while, hopefully what's going to end up happening is that we're going to start getting a meteor shower. And what I might even do is have a robot just do no work at all so that it keeps the, the place chunk loaded. That might be a good way of going about it. Um, I was just hoping to find a dungeon or one other. It would be cool if we started the time lapse with a dungeon crawling. But right now, it might just be me saying, okay, I give up. I'm going to go in my time lapse because this is the most boring, boring footage ever. <laughs> so while we're waiting to find the next one or the dungeon, I'm going to talk about regrowth one last time. Uh, I really want you your feedback guys about regrowth because the idea is also I want to do mod packs that are finishable. And what I mean by that is I was looking at into another mod pack called Cave Factory that it seemed like a really cool concept. It seemed really interesting. And after playing it for an hour, uh, no, three or four hours, I decided that it would not be a good one to go with my style of recording. And I'm going to explain to you why. This is the kind of time lap, uh, the, of episode where you have to time lapse a lot because in the beginning, the machine that you have to set up are very grindy. Once they're set up, things are going well, but just to be able to make like the first couple of setup, it took me four hours and out of that four hours, there was maybe 40 minutes of real footage and four hours of, of time lapse with 40 minutes of real footage that's that's crazy that makes no sense as an episode for me so it would not be a good way of doing things and i think i found a dungeon perfect so that's where we're going to start the time lapse i'm going to go down into the dungeon and i'm going to hope that we get a lot because we definitely need to find a lot of um meteoric iron so i'm going to keep the meteoric iron right here so that if we find more uh, it's uh, the stack up and I'm gonna go like that and like that and I'm going to start the time lapse and I'm going to start the dungeon crawling and fighting the meteoric iron and I'm probably going to do it in a way to get back to my ship so that I can go back to earth pick up my whole base and bring it to the moon and I think we'll never going to go back to earth the only thing I'm gonna have to test though is can we get oxygen from inside a compact machine because I need to have more oxygen and that way I would always have more oxygen ready to be able to continue investigating. Well, this is a very short episode talking wise, 
but I need the meteoric iron and that's the only way I can see of doing it. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!